Today I want to talk about the recent event that I missed for some reason called Hashtag Make Mine Milkshake. I really don't know what the hell that is, it's probably just petty Twitter drama, so at that moment I just let it all go away. Then one article calls it the new Gamergate, and I was like, oh my god, a scandal in the comics industry? Alright, what do you got for me? A new Gamergate? Female Marvel comic editor suffers online abuse over selfie with co-workers. Wait, so this isn't about how a certain comic book creator is banging a comic book reviewer for good press? Aw, that's sad. This is actually about a female comic book creator by the name of Heather Antos, who is apparently receiving harassment from comic book nerds thanks to posting a selfie. Oh my god, how horrendous! What kind of harassment did she receive? Well, since I have zero idea about what this milkshake thing is all about, let's try to find it together, shall we? Last weekend, Heather Antos went out to a shop with some of her female colleagues for a milkshake. She posted this picture on it onto her Twitter page. It's the Marvel Milkshake Crew! I can't help but to get that song, I am so sorry. <laughs> However, for whatever reason, this prompted a group of people to hurl a barrage of abuse at her. What the hell? Why? What kind of abuse? Who abused her? Where are the tweets that are abusing her? The responses varied from, can we just get off of feminism and social justice and actually print stories, to how all these Tumblr, SJW, social justice warrior, fake geek girls club are editors at Marvel. Um, none of those are harassment or abuse. Those are just people saying really dumb comments. Comments are harassment and abuse now? Woke up today to a slew of more garbage and tweets and DMs for being a woman in comics who posted a selfie of her friends getting milkshakes. Really? Because in this article, it says people ask for feminism and social justice to get off of comics, not necessarily insulting you for being a woman or drinking milkshakes. And I do want social justice to get off of comics because they're becoming really damn stupid as time went on. Not only that, but their writing tends to get pretty damn horrible, and I don't want horrible writing in my comics. And I also don't want political propaganda as being shoehorned in. And the last comment didn't insult you for being a woman, it insults you for being a fake geek SJW Tumblrite who just so happened to be a woman. These people do not hate you because you have a vagina, that's ridiculous, they wouldn't be asking for a patriotica if that's the case. So not only the fact you can't read your insults right, but you don't even provide any citations of what these people are actually saying. Not even a screenshot. Yep, sounds like Gamergate, just not in the way you want it to be. The abuse bears clear resemblance to the bullying of a number of women during the Gamergate controversy of 2013 and 2014, which began with critics suggesting a female video game developer Zoe Quinn had received undue attention for her work. Nope, it's not the same because I have yet to hear any news of Heather bagging a comic book reviewer or doing any unethical practices other than writing feminist comics for Marvel. It's not the second Gamergate and even if it is, it's like Gamergate 0.001. 1.001. .001. Oh, but here are a couple of Twitter users encouraging her and supporting her! That's nice, but I really don't see where the harassment really is, other than people making really damn stupid comments. Antos herself appears to have taken a defiant stand against the trolls with a follow-up picture! It's the Marvel Milkshake Crew Part 2! Again, I still don't get what's going on. I am someone who has literally zero idea about what's going on with this hashtag, and this article doesn't help. Now don't get me wrong, I don't think a selfie picture is the right trigger for discussions about SJW Marvel, but I also think that if you say harassment exists, I need some evidence. Maybe we'll check out more reliable sources like the Mary Sue. A Marvel comics editor is being harassed because she posted a selfie with her co-workers. Well, let's read this one. Maybe there are some additional information that we're missing. On Friday, Marvel editor Heather Antos, who's worked on titles like The Unbelievable Gwenpool, happened to post the above adorable selfie with her co-workers. And so, like any emotionally well-adjusted person would do, a bunch of mostly men decided to harass Antos via DM and tweets. Okay, so she received harassment through DMs and tweets. Can you please show at least just one to me? The public tweets included plenty of the usual insults and misogyny, fake geek girls, the creepiest collection of stereotypical SJWs anyone could possibly imagine, and gee, I can't imagine why Marvel's sales are in the toilet. Again, none of those are actual harassment. Those are just mean comments that people make. And again, you didn't actually screenshot them to prove that they actually exist. You know, 
When I say someone is being harassed, at least I show some tweets. I show screenshots. For example, the Dream Daddy fan artist was harassed and be sent death threats to the point where the actual developers have to speak out against it and she temporarily locked her account. Full video in the description. Oh, by the way, speaking of that incident, Mary Sue, do you have anything to say on that? Let's search on Dream Daddy here and... Um... Well, I guess you have nothing to say on this, Mary Sue. Damn, I thought you'd be a lot more up in arms. A woman got harassed for God's sake, but nope. Internalized misogyny aside, Hever decided to tweet these out in addition to the last tweet. The internet is an awful, horrible, and disgusting place. How dare I post a picture of my friends on the internet without expecting to be bullied, insulted, harassed, and targeted? I would agree, Miss Heather. The only problem is, I need some proofs that you are actually being harassed, so that I would go, yeah, that's horrible. Oh, by the way, I heard Captain Cummings DM'd you asking you to show you where the harassments are, but you didn't respond to him for some reason. We already know that trolls react monstrously when women explicitly advocate for diversity. Chelsea Kane, the writer for Mockingbird, had to quit Twitter after daring to write this innocuous, now-deleted tweet. Please buy Mockingbird number 8 this Wednesday. Send a message to Marvel that there's room in comics for superhero stories about grown-up women. Well, I don't disagree with that, Miss Kane. There's room in comics for superhero stories about grown-up women. It's just that by the time we make those kinds of stories, you're gonna bash them for daring to take things into a more mature approach. And by the way, pointing out Chelsea Kane is a really bad move because I have this really damn good conversation. I too hashtag stand with Chelsea Kane and feel free to ask me about my feminist agenda knowing that I gleefully block idiots and harassers. Can you point me to some of the harassment she received? Yep, sounds about right. I talked about this in my really damn old wave of love video. Ah, good times, good times. Anita Sarkeesian received bomb threats for exploring sexism in video games. Oh, you mean that bomb threat that literally says over 9,000 bombs? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, she says very inflammatory things like gamers are sexist and racist and misogynistic for liking sexy women, more of those in my Anita Sarkeesian videos, and let's not forget, garbage human. If you Google my name on YouTube, you get shitheads like this dude who are making these dumbass videos. that just go after every feminist over and over and over again, I think is, is a part of the issue of why we have to have these conversations. We and she is shocked that people are saying bad things at her in return. Oh no! By the way, if you think that saying bad things at her are the best way to respond to the things that she say, you might as well throw dollars at her because that's exactly what she wanted. Leslie Jones was hounded by racists on Twitter and hacked because she dared to play a black woman Ghostbuster. Really? Not one mention of Milo being hounded off of Twitter thanks to her. Not one mention of her asking her followers to dogpile a person. Not one mention of her being racist to white people. When this sort of harassment happens, the devil's advocates come out of the woodwork, saying that the harassers are reacting to changes to their favorite characters, or legitimately critiquing the women's politics, or simply voicing their opinions. Oh, people are pulling doubts to your assertion? Gee, I have no idea why would they do that right after you don't prove that the harassment exists. This is always an obvious attempt to provide a more palatable excuse for rampant misogyny and or racism. Even though the writer is right and at no point in the comments they are talking about the race, we're just gonna include racism in there. But the harassment around Atos' selfie makes it even more damningly obvious what the real motivation is. It's harassment for existing. Oh no! The fucking horror for merely existing in this universe! What abominable crime this writer has committed to mankind! <laughs> oh my god, classic Mary Sue never ceases to amaze. The fact that those sentences are actually being put to words just... It just tickles me. Fuck you for merely existing. <laughs> and by the way, wasn't this the crime that Sargon committed during Anita's VidCon panel? <laughs> he merely existed? <laughs> What's he doing? <sighs> He's just standing there, menacingly! Oh, thank you, Spongebob. This article is going to kill me. This milkshake drama is going to kill me. <laughs> My god, this is hilarious.
for daring to smile and enjoy making comics as a woman. It's harassment that's fueled by sheer rage at seeing a bunch of women who are editing comics and having fun at their job. Oh no! Women in Marvel having fun at their jobs making garbage comics! We can't let that happen, ladies and gentlemen! That is a crime against humanity! I swear to god this thing is going to kill me. When we talk about the pervasive sexism in comics, this is what we mean. We mean that some fans are so misogynist and so friend by the idea of women in the industry that a selfie sets them off! <laughs> Mary Sue. I love you. I really, really love you. Like, this, this is golden. This is such a brilliant, hilarious article that shows exactly how little spine you guys have. When we talk about sexism in comics, we mean fans are misogynist, and they are misogynistic on the basis that they say bad things because a woman have a selfie. They say things that are actually not harassment, but we can classify them as such. That rage is even worse if you're a trans woman, a woman of color, or a woman with a disability. Hmm, by that logic, I should probably don't care about this because she's a white woman. She's not a trans black disabled one, why should I care? There is nothing women can do to protect themselves. There's no way we can modify our behavior, or ignore the trolls, or engage in a conversation that will possibly satisfy or pacify people who hate our very presence. Mary Sue. Mary Sue! Did you actually put those words in a sentence? Did you seriously put those sentences together? What the fuck? This is... This is the best thing that I have ever read in my entire life. I was joking about the internalized misogyny part, guys. I was joking. Then you threw this paragraph, and the only thing that I can do is sit here bewildered by the shit that you write. For goodness sake, Mary Sue, you women-hating misogynistic bitch! My god, this is too much fun! I never thought that browsing this hashtag would be this fun. I haven't even gotten into what people say on Twitter with the hashtag. Let's check it out, shall we? The first one is from Razorfist Senpai. Comic didn't sell, why? Uh, let's see, bad dialogue, mediocre art, preachy mess, sexism, gotcha! Hashtag make my bill sick, hashtag engage! That's a tweet mocking the hashtag. The second one is also a tweet mocking the hashtag. Someone claims harassment. No actual harassment seen. Victim refuses to show evidence. Are you guys plain idiots? Third one is another person mocking the hashtag. Who is complaining about women being in the comics? Hint, nobody. SJWs being in comics is another story. Ah, here's an interesting one. It's from Marvel Report tweeting a picture of DC Comics staff and Marvel Comics staff. They stand against bullying, which... Didn't really happen in this case, but we stand against bullying! This one goes out to all the little man babies who were friend by women having a good time. That's right, how dare those women have a good time? They exist for God's sake! They exist! I will stand by you, Heather Anthos. I need to go to get a milkshake! Despite the inaccuracies, I'll let this one slide because the art is really damn good. And the girl's hot. Women are the single fastest growing nerd consumer demographic. We're not going anywhere. We are a force. Get used to it. Women in comics are so strong that when criticized, they need to block articles, hashtags, and men to protect them. <laughs> Those tweets are literally at the top of each other. Good timing, Twitter. Good timing. And more power to the women of Marvel, especially the Marvel Milkshake crew. More power to the women who receive no documented harassment, but still has the need to report it into Mary Sue, who actually had the fucking balls to say women are so weak they cannot ignore trolls and cannot protect themselves. Hashtag make my milkshake is trending. Thanks fam, love you all dearly. Raise a milkshake in honor of ladies making comics today. <laughs> These brave women on Twitter, man. I mean women. As one of my favorite people slash editors on this earth, I stand with you always, Heather Antos. That is some very good art, Paulina, but I personally prefer the edited version. I don't know, that's just me. People who think Marvel or other publishers not being overwhelmingly male is somehow responsible for low sales should probably be aware that when American comics were at their sales speak, slightly more women read comics than men. Oh, that's... that's actually interesting. So, women are reading more comics, therefore more sales. That's actually brilliant! It's a shame that most of the comics are garbage, which subsequently caused women to stop reading them because, you know, 
they're garbage, and women also have standards of decency, to imply that they're gonna just accept the shit that comes from your anus is insulting to women. Now I want to talk about something else. All I ever did was to make a Gwenpool comic whose quality I'm not very sure of because I haven't read it. There has to be something else that she said that caused people to get up in arms on her, right? If you think jokes about rape, sex, or gender aren't harassment, then you are the problem! So, jokes about rape, sex, or gender are harassment too? Hmm, that's interesting. I wonder what those people say about men who are crybabies. And since we're talking about harassment here, I want to point out to you guys to something that I noticed. While the documented harassment for Hever has not yet been proven, I just noticed that there's this person who wants to pile on someone by the name of Diversity in Comics, who just so happens to be a critic of Hever and someone who makes videos about SJW Marvel. There's also another person who wants to mercilessly troll him instead. So those are two documented harassment that I found against Hever's critics, but not one against Hever herself. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second, hold the phone right there for a moment. I think we actually found the original comments. <gasps> That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We actually found the tweets that are directed towards Hever that started this entire hashtag to begin with. Let's go read them, shall we? I would totally bang the girl in the front. So, one of the harassment comes from a guy who... compliments you? Oh, I see. Better have her sign a consent form. She looks like the false rape charge type. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I need to hold my laughter. I can't present myself as a misogynist here. No, 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 no. No, my ladies. That's a horrible, horrible, horrendous tweet. How dare he send that tweet to her? She's a woman on the internet. She's weak, and we should defend her. Isn't that right, Mary Sue? You're right, diversity in comics. No life experience, the creepiest collection of stereotypical SJWs anyone could possibly imagine. Oh no, someone made fun of your looks. You know, for all this talk about strong women, I really cannot see that. Come on, senpai, would you please stop growing mushrooms in other people's closets? This does explain the quality of work Marvel has put up as of late. How is that even remotely harassment? Like, jeez, these people. Can we just get off of feminism and social justice and actually print stories? God, DC looks better and better. I agree. That's also not harassment. Seriously, I still don't get why this hashtag should exist. So apparently this hashtag, according to the Mary Sue, is to protect women who are being slammed by the crybaby man on the internet for barely existing. And I absolutely love that you wrote, women are weaklings who cannot protect themselves and cannot ignore the threat of dangerous internet trolls. Literally write in your article, for fuck's sake Mary Sue, you misogynistic bigots. For a feminist website fighting against misogyny, that is the most shockingly misogynistic thing that I've ever read in a while. And by the way, I just want to point out something that I noticed concerning Marvel and their comic creators. It seems like a lot of them really, really hate their audiences. Official, someone who's been reading Marvel comics for five decades is no more than a fan than someone who's been reading for five minutes. By your logic, I'm a fan of Marvel, and I say your comic is garbage. And scrolling down, you'll see Freds after Freds after Freds of this guy being a goddamn jackass. He's not the only one though. Here's another writer dismissing criticisms. Here's someone giving criticisms to Nick Spencer. And Nick just dismissed it outright. The hell is going on with Marvel? Why are they populated with writers who lash back at people when they give legitimate criticisms? It's just one of the most insane things I've seen in a social media as of late. More insane than this harassment debacle. But hey, at least they're not going to go as far as saying, Hey asshole, please stop buying comics! Hey asshole, please stop buying comics! Also, no fucking milkshakes for you! WHAT?! And here comes the follow-up Mary Sue article right after the last one. Apologize for the freaking dogs in the background. Here are the sadly expected replies to our article about a Marvel editor harassed for her selfie. Let's go straight to the reply, shall we? Once again, we have people who don't read comics talking about how bad comic readers are. Also, blatantly lying. Classic Mary Sue. We read comics. We love comic readers. We are comic readers. Maybe it would be extra comforting to you if we were not. But even then, it would not detract from the validity of what Hever Anthos experienced. Also, it's lying. Okay, Mary Sue, the guy doesn't hit the right notes, so let me say my own criticism. For someone who go girl power in the comics book department, you have said one of the most misogynistic thing I have ever read in a while. 
Regardless of the harassment that Heather received, which so far is proven to be none, I am more concerned about your opinions in how women are weak and should be protected. And since Mary Sue didn't really provide any screenshots of the comments being said, we have to assume that this comment actually exists with that typo. So to make sure that Mary Sue is responding to what people are actually saying, I'm going to correct whatever typos that these comments make and also remove all parts where Mary Sue is correcting typos because they have nothing else to respond to. No, seriously, there are some comments in which their entire response is just correcting a typo. Mary Sue article supposed to be next level irony in regards to SJW Marvel women only writing Mary Sue like characters. What? It's irony because your site is called Mary Sue, which is a common trope in fiction that needs people who are generally women that are written to be overly perfect and overly strong to the point where they become boring. Can't believe I have to explain it to you. This is not harassment. This is a public person on Twitter getting the equivalent of a mild YouTube comment section. Thanks for explaining what harassment is and is not. It's difficult for me to figure these things out all on my own. I spent eight years as an internet moderator, but I still get confused. I know that you're trying to be sarcastic there, Mary Sue, but from the way you act, I can't take that as sarcasm. You genuinely don't know what harassment is, and you saying that you spent eight years as an internet moderator only makes you even dumber. As usual, SJWs who can't take criticisms ignore the 1,000 legitimate criticisms and focus on the two harsh comments. As usual, I don't know how to explain to you that you should care about other people. By ignoring the 1,000 legitimate criticisms? You're not very good at a replying job here, Mary Sue. And what were the legitimate criticisms of a woman taking a picture, bud? Actually, I take that back. You got me there. Men are harassed more than women. Even Anita harassed Boogie 298. You act like the facts don't exist. Men are harassed more than women? Where is this magical world? And how do I get there? <laughs> Read the article. Why are there never any screenshots of the harassment in these things? Ah, the old do the work for me and maybe then I might believe you gambit. Perhaps we didn't screenshot the harassing tweets because we were focusing on the voice of a woman who experienced the harassment? If you want to see something for yourself, fucking Google it, my pal! I did, and they're just people tweeting dumb things at her. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. People are just pissed that the leftards have totally ruined Marvel Comics. You have a frog meme to your avatar whose creator despises everything that you stand for. Well, I think I'm going to stop there. Mary Sue has zero arguments and now has resulted to insulting people's avatars. In fact, a lot of these Marvel writers have zero arguments and resorted into literally insulting people. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is hashtag make mine milkshake, a hashtag that is trending on Twitter to show that women are going to be harassed for merely existing? We did it, Patrick! We saved the city! Just think what might have happened if we didn't tell everyone about the monster! And we also want to prove that women are strong. And by strong, we mean they absolutely need to be defended from Twitter trolls that they cannot ignore at all because they're women and therefore they're weak. Isn't that right, Mary Sue, you misogynistic bigoted asshats? Seriously, Mary Sue, why the fuck did you write that paragraph? Jesus Christ! That's all for the video today. If you like this, you can go ahead, click the like button, and subscribe for more. If you wish, you can support me on Patreon, and thanks for watching.